Blessings to everyone. If you guys are here, we'll be looking at some uh, equations when it comes to door calculations of uh, a column of a bridge. So here we have this uh, column of a, a bridge. So here we have The height here, you can see the, the height from here to here. Then the second height is from from the bottom of uh, or from the base of uh, the column to to here or to the bridge deck. And then we have a pi weight. The pi weight is, is found on the vertical. It is found in the vertical portion of uh, the column. And then we have uh, the Q1 here. From the Q1, you find it from here to the middle of uh, the column. And then the Q2, Q2 from the middle to uh, oh, Q2 is here. Yeah, actually. From here to E2, from here E2 to to the edge of the column. Okay. And now we will be looking at the, the phase one and also phase two of uh, construction of uh, this uh, column. Yeah, on the first is uh, on the face uh, on the first phase actually overturning moment at a pi column a vertical axial exit axial of load total uh, load to a pile cap then for m1 if you want to calculate the m1 m1 is here right is here m1 this is m1 the overturning moment the first overturning moment okay yeah, so if you want to calculate it, you'll say M1 is equal to height times Z1 minus, you say minus here, yeah? say minus into Q1, this Q1, uh, this Q1, right? Q1 times E1, E1 is here, it's nearby uh, Q1 times E1 plus into Q2, Q2 is here, Q2 times Q2 times E2, E2 is here, then that is your M1. Okay, for M2, for M2, we'll say M2 is equal to H times Z2 because we're looking. Okay, for M2, we'll say h times z2 into minus uh, q1 times e2 it's q1 times e1 actually then plus q2 times e2 it's already showing you where e2 is situated that is for m2 then the number of loads for your number of loads n1 that is nl number of loads n is so for the number of loads, number of loads here, yeah, the number of loads. So the number of loads is at the middle, from here in the middle of Q1 and Q2. So we'll say, for the number of loads, we'll say Q1 plus Q2 plus the pi weight, the pi weight here. 
if I wait, what's the load that we are looking for? The number of loads that we are looking for actually. So we'll say Q1 plus Q2 plus I wait. So I'll show you later on all the workings on uh, this uh, type of uh, a task. I will show you all the workings with the units and numbers. Right now I'm still trying to show you the equations on how to do uh, calculations based on the column of a grid. Here we have a structure, although my picture is not uh, clear, but uh, we have a structure, a bridge deck. We also have uh, a pile cap, pile cap 1 and pile cap 2. And the cheddar, the cheddar there beneath the, the bridge deck. And we also have uh, a pile. And we have a, a spacing of uh, a cheddar. And also we have uh, land for the land from Jeddah we'll say land is equal to load from Jeddah divided by 2 plus load from Jeddah divided by 2 so if you want to calculate the effective depth the effective depth is from the ring to the bottom so we'll say D is equal to H minus C minus theta over 2 that is the effective depth So here are the equations. Here are the equations. So we will look at uh, number of steel and also area of uh, steel later on. Once started, the reinforcement is then for pi height. We only looked at uh, land at j equal to load at j divided by two plus load at j divided by two. And we also look at the effective depth, which is d equal to h minus c. Minus this over two. Thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe.